um, yesterday, 6-1 win against Cologne. Um, can you describe how, how was the feeling on the pitch? How was the feeling right after the game? Yeah, I mean, I think the craziest thing was when they announced the score of the other game and they said it was 3-0 and you realize it's 6-1 for us. I got goosebumps when they said it was, it was, I think everybody kind of had the feeling like, I can't believe this just happened. As in like, I don't know, it was a very difficult situation for us. And I mean, we've always said that we're going to fight until the end and we still have two more games to go. So obviously we're going to keep fighting, but um, yeah, it was a very proud moment I think, for the team. In the first half, you sat on the on the on the bench. I mean, um, didn't you get uh, somehow the call that Union is gonna uh, lead 1-0? Yeah, when when it was 3-0 for us, um, I think I heard that it was 1-0 for Union, and uh, yeah, that's I think when it started to be like, okay, this can actually happen. But did you talk in the? Um, During the break, did you talk about that, or was the focus so high on, on this game that you don't even talk about other results? I, I was out here warming up on the pitch, so correct, I didn't yeah. Hear what they were saying <laughs> inside, but I was talking to Niklas Moisander after the game. He said he had no idea what the score was at all until they announced that it was 3-0. So I'm assuming they didn't say anything about the other game. Maybe you can describe how, how were the first, uh, the, no, the, la the last two, two days right before the game. Um, I mean, it was kind of like a do or die game. Uh, everybody realized um, it, it wasn't looking very good for Werder Bremen. Everybody was thinking, well, they, they probably might go down. Um, how was it for you and for, for the other players? Yeah, I think everybody kind of had the same feeling that the odds are kind of stacked against us, but We just have to focus on our game. We knew we had to win our game and then hope for the best in the other game. And luckily, it happened. Um, when uh, Florian Kofeld uh, talked about um, the lineup for, for the game, I mean, the last games you were always in the starting 11, and uh, now he, he decided, okay, I will um, give Niklas Fukuk uh, the, the chance from, from the beginning. Um, how, how does it feel? I mean, Is it more like being a team player and saying, that's fine for me, totally okay, and uh, Niklas is uh, right now in a, in a very good situation? Um, or were you, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't I, know the word. <laughs> just disappointed, um, yes. I, I had a good talk with Flo before the game, and he kind of gave me his reasoning for why I wouldn't start. And thought it would be important for me to come in at halftime or a little bit after halftime and try to score more goals. And um, yeah, I mean, of course I want to start every game, but I'm very happy for Niklas also. And I think it's more of a team effort that matters anyways. And we had uh, five different uh, goal scorers. Uh, you scored the sixth one. It was a very, very nice goal. And right afterwards, it, it seems like when, when we look at you um, with a cheering, it like you couldn't believe it. It's like, what, what, what is going on here? Jesus Christ, 6-1. I think it was more of a feeling of relief for me, just personally. Um, just from the last games, I feel like I've been working very hard and this was kind of a, a reward for it. Just finally getting my goal that I've been working hard for for a while now. Um, but yeah, like I said, it was, it was feeling of what is going on here right now like it was just crazy how did you or what what did you do right after the game i mean everybody knows on thursday it's it's going to be the next game uh, we have to uh, keep the the level high the concentration high but uh, did you enjoy a beer or something like that or were you just going to bed no i uh, i mean directly after obviously we're playing music in the locker room and everybody was very happy it's hard not to celebrate Like you said, at the same time, we know there's two more games left, so we're going to try to stay focused. But yesterday, we kind of tried to celebrate, get it out of the way, and now today, we'll start to focus. There are two um, possible opponents we're going to have uh, on Thursday for the, for the playoffs. Could be Heidenheim, could be um, as well uh, HSV. Uh, you haven't played against the HSV yet, uh, so it's a, for us, it's a, it's a huge derby. Um, would you prefer that or would you say, okay, Heidenheim, I know Heidenheim, we played against uh, them in the DFB Pokal, we played, we won 4-1, so it seems to be the easier part or it doesn't make it any difference? I 
I mean, I think everybody knows it would be pretty crazy if we play Hamburg in this playoff games. Um, like you said, I haven't played them yet, but you know the all the emotion that comes into that game. It would be crazy to play against them, like I said. Uh, and yeah, we also know Heidenheim. We've beaten them before, so I think I don't really know if I have a preference, but I would say we know Heidenheim already, and we know that we can beat them. So I think we will be either team. We get them. From the uh, 17th match day on, um, we always have been on the 17th rank in the in the Bundesliga, and uh, just on the 34th um, game, we yeah we reached the let's say playoff rele relegation uh, games. Is that a huge? Um, is it is it good for us because we reached this goal? We, we reached it. We reached the place. Or I mean, it's, it's definitely not our goal that we wanted from the beginning of the season. That's for sure. Um, but I think it really shows the mentality of all the players here and the club as a whole. You know, we told everybody that we wouldn't give up and that we would keep fighting to the end, and we still got to fight. Like I said, these last two games and. Uh, Yeah, I think it shows huge character. Florian Kofeld told yesterday on the on the press conference right after the game, he said uh, it was like for the first time in, the, in this whole season he had uh, every every player um, who's, who's possible for, for, for the starting lineup. Um, how, how how would you say is is the feeling that um, let's say. The condition you have right now, I mean, it's not like condition, it's um, you're on, on this level that you wanted to have from the from the beginning of the season and every every player is fit. Do you feel that? Do you, you realize, okay, this, this team is much, much better than the players we have right now? Yeah, I think, I think you can definitely feel it with the team and you can also see it from the game yesterday. We played very well. We have very strong players when we're all healthy and yeah, maybe... It was a little bit too late this season to have everybody healthy, but um, you know we have it now. We got to use it for the last two games. Um, would you say, and that's the last question? Would you say uh, the de development you made in this first um, year you had with the, with the pros, with uh, all the all the games you played, this, the the goals you scored, um, did you improve as you liked it, as you wanted it to to, to be? Uh, like I said, it's definitely not the season I imagined for the team and for myself personally, um, but I'm happy with how these last games have gone. And yeah, I, I would say I'm proud of myself with the development I've made and hopefully I can continue to develop over these next years. Thank you.